Hi, I'm Sam MacDonald, Deputy Head of Investment News on Money Marketing and FundWeb. I'm here today at the platform's eighth annual conference and I've got with me Old Mutual Wealth's Carlton Hood. Carlton, thanks for joining us. Good to be here, Sam. I'd like to start with a question about due diligence and I was just wondering, to what extent do you think it's right that the regulator pays so much attention to due diligence when it comes to advisors and platforms? I prefer actually to look at that more from the advisor perspective. I think it is important that the advisor is performing due diligence on a platform. I think in the remarks you're referring to, it was made clear that this isn't a daily or a weekly occurrence. The choice of a platform is an important, but also it's a complicated and intense relationship. And in changing that, you know, even on a yearly basis, would be hugely disruptive for many financial advisors. But they do have to look regularly at whether or not it is providing the right kind of services for their customers, whether it's supporting their business in the way that they want, whether it's price competitive. I think that's perfectly reasonable. It's a competitive market and we would expect to be compared in that way. Mm -hmm. And moving on, how difficult is it to strike a balance between efficiencies of advisor cost and making sure that clients are paying appropriate platform charges? Look, we always have to bear that in mind, but increasingly we're looking at total cost of ownership. At Old Mutual Wealth, we're kind of looking at a vertically integrated model. So we're thinking about the advice that an advisor offers, but then also thinking about the investment solutions, the managed portfolio service, and then the platform fee. And the platform fee is kind of only a small part of that. So we're aiming, with a product like our Wealth Select range, to make sure that we're able to deliver that entire piece um, at a price of less than, than, than 200 basis points. Uh, I think if we can do that, then it remains competitive, and it's for the advisor to kind of look at the funds they're choosing, the managed portfolio services, and the platform and get the best value for their clients. Mm -hmm. And how has Old Mutual Wealth p placed itself in the changing platform world, specifically the move towards direct-to-consumer? We're seeing that we've got to innovate on a whole number of fronts to remain relevant both to advisors and to customers. So I spoke in the conference about uh, the managed portfolio service developments, about some of the things we're doing to advisors in terms of the information we provide for them to help support their practice. And I do think that offering services direct to customers is an important part of that. And increasingly, we are finding advisor firms coming to us and saying, we need you to provide these services so that we can service our client base in the way that they expect efficiently. I don't see a conflict. I think this old thing of direct and advised is an old fashioned view of the world. The customer is saying, I want it all, and we have to be part of providing that. Yep. And going forward, in the next 12 to 18 months, what do you see as the biggest challenge to the platform market? It's a good question. <laughs> and I'm not quite certain which to choose. If I had to pick one, I think the whole later life, the uh, retirement fund reform, uh, the change that we've got to deliver there, it's supposed to simplify uh, and give greater joys to customers, but actually, like all of these things, it's a double-edged sword. There's also complexity there. Customers now have to be able to get drawdown from their retirement savings in an effective, understandable, and efficient way. And for us to deliver that, both the underlying functionality and then the tools that help an advisor to prevent that well, present that well to their clients is quite a challenge. Carlton, thank you. Thank you.